In this video, we'll explore how you can build a personal AI assistant to help you code. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to Build with Google AI, where we explore how you can build practical solutions with Google AI technology. Using artificial intelligence to help you code can be a nice productivity boost, but it does have some risks. What if you want to make doubly sure your super secret, world-changing code project stays in-house while still getting some AI assistance? Google's family of Gemma models are available to download and run on your own hardware so you can keep everything local and have the option to tune the model to work better with your code base. One of my colleagues and I decided to try this out. So we built a standalone AI code assistant with Gemma so you can keep your code projects under wraps. Or just not share with anyone that you forgot how to code a for loop. Again. The Pippin Code Agent is a Visual Studio Code extension that uses AI models to help you with code development. Here's a quick demo of the project. This instance of the extension is connected to a Gemma model running on an independent server that I'm managing. So all my AI requests go from my development computer to my server and nowhere else. The Pippet extension adds a few new commands to VS Code, which you can access through the command palette. Pippet. These commands let you do things like generate code comments or request help with your coding. You can also add your own commands, which I'll show you how to do later in the video. Right now, let's ask the Gemma model how to generate a comment to explain this Python function. Open the command palette, type pipit, select the comment function, and then hit Enter. This command sends a copy of the code I selected with some additional instructions to my Gemma instance. And in a few seconds, the AI model generates a comment explaining what this code does. Nice. Let's add this generated comment as a proper doc string. All right, now let's try using the Gemma model for coding help. For this, I like to use a separate markdown file so I can examine the generated code before I put it into my project, and also so I can refer back to the answer later on. I'll just type my question here. How do I write for loop in Python? And send the request. After a few seconds, the model generates an answer, which I can review and use in my project. I like putting these questions in a markdown file because then I can view it in a nicely formatted preview. What I really like about using AI models like Gemma for coding is that it generally gives me very focused answers to coding questions and helps me quickly tackle new coding problems. Remember, you should always thoroughly review and test generated code before making it part of your project. Now, there's a lot more you can do with this AI code assistant extension, but before we get into that, let's talk to my collaborator on this project and have them explain how it works. All right. I'm joined today by my fellow builder of this project and member of the AI developer relations team, Luciano Martins, who's calling me from Brazil. Boa tarde, senhor. Hi, Joe. Thanks for having me. I'm really glad to be here. So my first question is, why would you build this? There are lots of AI coding tools available out there. Is it really worth building your own? Well, I think having some kind of assistance for coding is always welcome. But whether you should set up your own instance of Gemma just for that, really comes down to your goals and your requirements. If you want to closely manage the AI model assisting you with coding, running Gemma on hardware you personally manage is a pretty good option. But it is worth noting that you need the compute capability around the level of a NVIDIA T4 GPU to run a Gemma 2 to be model at full precision. There's a considerable hardware investment for many people. But it is possible to run Gemma with less hardware using techniques like quantization. But you should research and test out those configurations to see if they meet your needs before you invest your resources. Running a Gemma model as a code assistant also offers you the possibility of, of tuning the model to work better with your code base. 
if you have a set of coding tasks that you want to, your AI coding assistant to be really good at, being able to tune a Gemma model for those tasks is a nice option. Again, be a little cautious though, because tuning a model costs more compute resources than just running them as is. Even though you just need that extra computing power while you are tuning. Okay, so next question. How does the Pipit code agent actually work with the Gemma server? When you run a Pipit code agent command with Gemma, it takes your input and combines it with some pre-built instructions for that command and sends it all to, to the Gemma model as a prompt. The Gemma service wrapper receives the request, hands the prompt data over to, to get tokenized and processed by the Gemma model, and after the model generates a response, the service sends the response back to the Pipet extension, which inserts into your editing window. The previous Pipet code agent extension used the Gemini API to access the hosted Gemini models and assist with your codes. So the big difference between this project and the previous one is that this extension is using an instance of Gemma that you manage yourself. You can host it wherever you want, control who has access to it, customize its behavior, and apply as much or as a little computer power to it as you require. Okay, so next question. If I want to extend this project, how do I go about doing that? There are a couple of ways to extend the Pipet code agent. The simplest thing to do is to modify the Pipet agent prompt to make it work better for you. Change the examples to be closer to what you want. Or change the pre-built instructions to see if you can get better results. The next level of modification is to duplicate and refactor the pipet commands to make it perform different tasks. Maybe you want a command that will take a list of items and build a for loop to process them. No judgment. You can totally build that. An even bigger investment would be turning the Gemma model you are using for your code assistant. If you have some tasks that you want your Gemma code assistant to be better at, you can take a few examples of that task as request and response pairs, run a toning process on Gemma model to create new model weights, and then import those new weights into your model instance to change its behavior. All right, so last question. What do you hope folks get out of this project? Well, I hope this project lets more developers take advantage of AI code assistance, even if they can't use third-party AI coding service. Having open models like Gemma lets developers access and use AI in ways that work better for them, and I think having that option is great for the developer community. Generative artificial intelligence can save you a lot of time by handling more routine tasks, and it's getting better all the time. It can help developers learn new techniques and give you more confidence to tackle bigger projects and more complex projects. I look forward to developers being even more ambitious with their projects and building cool stuff that makes the world a better place for everyone. All right, great. Well, thanks for talking to me about the Pipit Code Agent and using it with Gemma. Thanks for having me, Joe. It's coding time. Let's look at how you can extend the Pipit Code Agent to create your own AI-powered coding assistant with Gemma. Don't worry about taking notes. There's a detailed tutorial linked in the description. For this project, I'm hosting the Gemma model on a Google Cloud virtual machine with a GPU processor. Check the tutorial for details on hardware requirements and setup. We're using the Fast API and UVCorn Python libraries to serve the model as an API and to handle requests. There's not much to this service, but one of the simple ways you can configure it is by changing the Gemma version by setting this Gemma model ID to a different version hosted on Kaggle. Once you have the Gemma model running as a service, you can connect the Pipit code agent and have some AI coding fun. The simplest way to extend Pipit is to modify the prompt instructions or code of the existing commands, like this generate review function. Also note any performance improvements. Next, let's create a new Pipit command by refactoring an existing one. 
I'm going to build a new command for creating a web API service. This command will generate the service and combine it with some boilerplate code. To start, make a copy of one of the existing code files and give it a new name. I made a copy of the question TS file and called it new service TS. In the command file, I'm going to add some default instructions for creating the service. And my boilerplate code for the service. Now I have to rename the command and change the prompt to combine the instructions I type in the editor with my default instructions. Lastly, I need to insert my boilerplate code after the generated code in the editor. And that's all we need to create a new command. Now let's plug that code into the rest of the extension. I need to update the extension TS file to import the new command code, and then register the new command. Finally, I need to update the package.json file to declare that new command. That's it. Now I need to rebuild the extension, run the debugger, and then switch over to the debug environment to try it out. The way the new extension works is that I type a brief description of the API service, select that text, and have the Gemma model write a draft of it for me. Let's run the command and see what we get. Nice! The command generated code for the new service I described and inserted my boilerplate code. It's pretty useful to be able to create custom commands for AI code assistance, particularly for coding tasks that you don't do frequently. All right, let's wrap this up. And that's all the time I have to tell you about this AI-powered personal code assistant project. Thanks to my guest, Luciano Martins, from the AI Developer Relations team for helping me build and share this project. Check out the video description for links to the code and a detailed tutorial on how to build your own Gemma server and how to extend Pipit Code Agent to work with it. If you get some new functionality working, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video helps you use artificial intelligence for development in a way that works for your projects and helps you be a more productive and creative coder. So keep learning, keep building, make something great. We'll see you again soon.